Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this segment, I'll be putting together the electronic positioning system on the Cobra 4 sewing machine. And as I'm doing that, um, I'm thinking in my mind about uh, the instructions that came with, uh, with the tool. I really didn't think they were adequate. And so, as I'm describing what I'm doing, um, it's sort of, I'm filling in what it is that should have been, in my opinion, uh, included in that instruction set that was printed. One of the problems that I had with my instruction set was that uh, it was laid on top of the, um, the hand wheel in the box that the hand wheel came in and the box didn't close all the way and so the hand wheel pushed the back in this case on my case the front of the instruction sheet up to the tape holding the box together and since the top flaps did not come together in the box uh, uh, then the paper stuck to um, the tape, the shipping tape on that particular box. Now, I didn't see that. Yeah, it could have been solved by uh, me looking at it going, oh, hey, if I pull this off of here, it's going to ruin the print and I won't be able to see it. But even if that was the case, the print on that paper was inadequate. But that's one of the things you got to do when you're working on assembling a tool at home. You really got to pay attention to the details. You have to see what needs to be done and you have to think it through so that you make the right uh, move. And so here at 123, 23, some 30 years experience with assembling uh, tools and uh, uh, engineering tools and designing tools, um, I was able to more or less put it together without any instructions. But um, I did uh, go to YouTube to see if there were any uh, EPS electronic positioning system videos out there. And frankly, there weren't. So uh, whether mine's the first, I don't know. I have not looked at all of Steve Van Plew's uh, videos to see if he's got it there with his. But either case, uh, please like, please subscribe, enjoy the segment. So I'm going to try to put together the EPS. There are no instructions with the machine to help me out. But uh, I'm going to give it a try here. The first thing is I've got an offset spacer which fits in the EPS module. I have a screw which drives the uh, drives into the back end of the shaft, the drive shaft, and then the spacer goes on that. This is put together. I think the light in here is kind of lacking, but um, so in my kit there is a screwdriver, and this is a slotted Phillips. So I'm driving this in. Can't hardly do this without getting my arm in the way. So I'm going to tighten that down good. It's probably about 15 to 20 ounce inches. Then I need a ball driver or an Allen wrench for these uh, screws that are on the position module and go over to one of my tool kits in a way. And look what I have there. Where are those tools? 
Okay. So that fits in here. And then notice that I have the red, let's turn on the light. I'm not sure if I've got it or not. It looks pretty good. I have a red mark here and a red mark there. And then I have a red mark over here on the back of the pulley. And I'm going to line those all up. that and tighten down the set screws. So now this is a locator and it screws in here gold to gold. going to position this piece of the locator so it lines up with the center of the drive pulley. So in order to put it on there, I'm going to loosen my set screws again. Sorry able to get myself out of the way here. And I'm going to put the locator in the groove of the module. I'm going to get it lined up, tighten the fed screws, the set screws. So, in the end, I have the, oh, I do not have, I do not have it lined up. There's red right there, and my red is over here so I'm gonna loosen things up again and I'm gonna turn until I'm gonna turn it and I'm turning my hand wheel until now one of the things you want to do is Lock up your foot pedal. And I'm not very good at this camera stuff. Put your lock pedal up so that as you're turning this, you don't have any pedal interaction. So, right there, right there is the red on the EPS module, the red on the EPS driver lined up with the red on the hand wheel. And then notice that as I have that, my locator is in between here uh, on the module. So now I'm going to tighten the set screws I'm not sure why Leather Machine Company or Van Plu, Steve Van Plu, couldn't put in a video on this cuz that's that's pretty much how it goes right there. Everything's lined up and so when I get ready to power everything up, which I'm not right yet, that is the EPS module install.
Okay, the next little task here is to position the electronic, <laughs> uh, position the electronic, uh, yeah, we're going to change this. So uh, the kit comes with three tie wraps and it's going to go, the cable's going to go behind the belt because you're going to tie wrap it one to here on the uh, alignment post and then two here on the alignment post and then a third one. On the alignment post and you're gonna clean up your tie wraps clip them off and then you have uh, a properly managed uh, cord here and then when it goes down through the hole in the surface I think you can See that here. It'll go down through the hole and it will make its way towards the power button for it and the interaction button for it on the back of the um, servo power module. So then, I'll drop this back down. So now we have a cable for this and it's, we'll put it over the top of the one we just put in and we'll put another tie wrap on there. That'll keep it in a safe place and it'll also help support the other tie wraps. And then it plugs in. You got to slip the cover back a little bit. And it plugs in right here on the. Wow. On the back of the servo motor power supply. And. You probably want to put a tie wrap up there to keep things safe and secure. So there you have the EPS data because it's looking for information from the EPS module to drive or tell when to drive from the servo motor module. Okay, thanks for watching the segment on the electronic positioning system install on a Cobra 4 sewing machine. I hope you found this helpful, and uh, I hope that uh, you enjoyed it. So please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. People accepted. Lives changed.